Hi, I just want to welcome you to my Facebook Live as I'm answering a question that actually came up uh, when I posted a post uh, yesterday and it came up on all throughout my social media and I thought, well, I'm going to answer this question um, that people are asking only because, you know, if, if a lot of you are asking it, that's, they, you know, it's one of the things I want to address. And so um, I posted a post about prophets, prophetic people, they need to prepare themselves uh, to carry the power. And then the question that kept coming up was, how do I do that? Okay, so, so I wanted to help you with that because obviously if you don't know how to do it, then you're not doing it. And I want to help bridge that gap so that you can actually step into everything that God has called you to do, called you to be. Uh, you know, because like if you're a prophet, that's your identity. If you are called to prophesy, you know, we need that word of the Lord coming out of you. But, but there's preparation involved. You've got to be able to carry that anointing and you know put some things around it so that you can be successful okay so so first of all um while you're hopping on here letting me know your name and where you're from i just want to make sure you have my new book prophetic secrets i'm hearing a lot of great stuff about it so uh you know make sure you get it that's going to help you and then also make sure that you register for the seers and prophets online uh university it starts in october uh, but but you get an early bird price if you register by the end of the month. So if you plan to register, do it sooner and not later. Okay, so um, so let's go back to that answering that question about um, you know about uh, uh, you know how do we prepare ourselves to carry power? Okay, so so we want to go back to the Old Testament and just kind of look at some of the framework. So first of all, God would anoint men and women uh, to be prophets in the Old Testament. And as a highly gov governmental role, um, you know, they, they could not make mistakes. They could not say a wrong word. They couldn't miss it. Uh, they couldn't lead people astray. You know, it is under penalty of death. It's very, very serious. Um, and then, uh, you know, but they were pointing to a day, it was prophesying to a day that everyone uh, who knew the Lord would be able to prophesy. Not necessarily be prophets, but they would actually prophesy. They would hear or see what God was saying and they would say, what they heard or saw. And so that's in essence, in you know, simplest form, uh, a prophetic word. And that there was gonna be a day where that would happen. And so we go to Acts chapter two, and we see the Holy Spirit falls upon the church. Um, they're speaking in other languages, you know, shouting the praises of God in the languages of the people that are, you know, in Jerusalem uh, during during that, that uh, holiday, um, you know, Pentecost. And, and so then what happens is, um, uh, you know, Peter stands up and he addresses the crowd that gathered to see the scene, um, you know, the outpouring of the Spirit. He addresses the crowd and he said, this is that, you know, and referring to Joel's prophecy. Well, what do you mean this is that? Well, Joel said that the Spirit of God was going to fall upon all flesh and that, you know, your sons and daughters would prophesy, that young, young men would have visions, your old men would have dreams. In other words, that there was this, this potential for every person that believed in Jesus to be able to hear God's voice, see God's voice, and actually say what he's saying. Um, uh, we're all going to hear the word of the Lord. We're all going to say the word of the Lord, and we're no longer going to have to rely on the prophet to do that. Now, that doesn't mean prophets aren't, aren't here still, but Jesus is actually still um, uh, anointing men and women as prophets uh, alongside apostles, pastor, teachers, and evangelists. Okay, so that's Ephesians 4. Uh, but I'm talking about the gift of prophecy, um, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, that every believer in Jesus can, can walk in that anointing. Um, and many of you are, many of you have. Um, and for, for many of you, it's like, it's, it's strong on you, but you don't quite know what to do, okay? Um, you don't have a community around you. Um, you don't have um, people to help you develop that. Uh, if you're a prophet, you know, uh, you're definitely, I, I remember being in that situation. I'm like, I have no idea what to do with this. I just got called by Jesus Christ himself to be a prophet to the nations. And I have no clue, zero, no clue, you know? And so I had to find a community to, to help me. Okay. Um, walk that out. Okay. So you go back to, let's go back to the old Testament. Um, and we see what Samuel did. Samuel did something very unique. Prophet Samuel, he actually created schools of School, schools of the prophet and you see these groups of individuals who were all prophets and they were coming under training they were being um you know instructed um you know and they were in a community and that's because you know the, it, it was true then it's true now prophetic people they don't survive on their own uh prophets don't survive on their own they they do better in community because you have too much coming at you 
um, uh, stuff from God that you don't know what to do with. Uh, you got warfare that's really, really unique, and you don't know what to do with that. And unless your church um, is, is an environment that knows how to develop this in you, you are on your own. Um, and, and what happens is if, if you have no place to prepare, no place to get equipped, no place to get trained, um, what happens is um, uh, you don't last, you know, you know, this is a, uh, the warfare is too great. And so, you know, you, you end up going, you know, uh, you, you either go dormant or you go cuckoo, you know, one or the other. Um, uh, you know, the, the, the earth is denied the word of the Lord through you. And so we don't get we don't get to participate in that we don't get to see that or experience that through you, um, and then uh, it, it really cuts off you know the life flow that that you know the, the best place for you to flow in is in that anointing and it's that anointing that you're called to that that anointing is what breaks yokes and it and it's it's cut short it's it's put, made dormant, and so unless you have a preparation plan, you know preparation isn't going to happen. Now, I've heard this before. I've heard people say, well, well, the Holy Spirit's my teacher and he, he's the only one I need to teach me. And that's great. And he is your teacher and he will teach you. However, every person I've seen say that, um, we never see them. We don't know their names and we never hear their word. <laughs> so, you know, so I'm just kind of like, you know, apparently uh, the Holy Spirit will be your teacher. And so will other prophets and other prophetic people will also be your teacher because this has this actually works best in community in community and so that's why i'm passionate about you know training and equipping people in in these kind of things um very very passionate uh that's why i have institutes that's why i have online universities those kind of things because i know that that although it's better um most churches still do not know how to develop prophetic people um, I'm not the only person that does this. Like, there's a lot of great, great communities out there. I'm one of many, um, but I do know I'm passionate for it, and I've done it for years. Absolutely, done it for years. And so, so anyway, I want to um, uh, encourage you to get a preparation plan because it's just not going to happen unless you have a preparation plan. Um, so you need to get connected into a community uh, that's healthy. Uh, um, you need to read all the books that you can, um, and you know, uh, we 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 need to. We need to see your gift. We we need to see that. And I know in these communities they thrive. Prophets and prophetic people, when they come together, it, whether it's in person uh, or online, there's a synergy that happens, and there's an accuracy that grows in that community. Um, and so you know, it just it really is how it works. I've I've been I've been going after this for years and years and years. I know that I stepped into a community once the Lord called me as a prophet. That was my saving grace. As I stepped into a community for a season. Um, and I, ha I was surrounded by people who were like me and finally I didn't feel like the, the square peg in the round hole, um, you know, and, uh, and then eventually the Lord released me to, to, to do the same. And so, so anyway, I want to, um, I want to encourage you, um, if you don't have that community, come and, come and join the online university, Sears and Prophets Online University, um, get my book, Prophetic Secrets, and um, uh, take care. I hope that helped answer that question. All right, God bless. Have a good one.